Hey everyone, I wanted to share with you guys something I started working on and it is a parser for Nokia SROS devices using TTP template text parser. Uh, this is uh, new, new to it to me. Um, there is a heavy documentation which is super useful and you can just get the code over at GitHub. Uh, one of the things that attracted me to it was when I saw this Yang collection templates example. Something I had never thought about is you know, using regular expressions to take in a config file and actually create something that follows a Yang model and that's exactly what I'm doing. So I'll just show you guys how easy it is. Uh, this is something that mimics NTC templates as you know stated here. However, it is much easier to get started with TTP. I've got my fair share of the NTC templates or text SFM, but what I really wanted to get done is accomplish parsing a configuration file in full, not just show commands. And although this is possible using regular expressions, um, it would be pretty messy and a lot of work. And this has very much simplified it for me. So I will demonstrate what I've got going on so far. Basically, I've been working on, like I said, parsing a full configuration file. So the way I structured it is I take one full config file, pass it into a class, and I break it down into chunks. So system, configuration, cards, static routes, interfaces, profiles, SDPs, so there's many more to come, but this is all I've got so far. However, I am also working on some show commands that I find necessary for right now. Uh, in the future, I plan on creating uh, as many as I can. Um, so the way of the workflow um, for my program is you pass in the config file. Um, it'll allow you to call methods, which I have quite a few of them here created to extract information that's um, useful for me. Uh, you know, extract system ASN, profile, cards, host name, configurations, as well as uh, passing in custom templates in case I think of something on the fly or whatever. Um, in the end, once it passes in a config file, it, there's actually a method in here to get the full config. It takes every single one of these files. Uh, if they pass the unit test, it generates a full config latest. And what this does is it basically compiles all of the file, all of the templates into one template in a way that makes sense. And then it parses the full configuration, and spits it out, and uh, then you have the full config file generated here into this parse configs template folder. I'm sorry, parse configs folder, and it is all in one place, all together, compiled. So let's just kind of demonstrate how it works. Uh, this is a show buff CLI command, and this is a template that I've worked on. And like I said, it's it, Kirk Byers' video when I first found this out was thanks to him. So thank you, Kirk. Um, he said think about this as a reverse Jinja template and it really made sense at that point um, but it is way more powerful than that um, you can pass in macros which is just regular python code inside of your templates uh, it's a structuring it's really great when you're creating large templates um, you know this allows you to create dictionaries and lists and nested dictionaries etc etc so this is just kind of what my template looks like that I think will be really helpful for me when I work with devices or uh, projects for customers, et cetera, et cetera. So let's go ahead and close this. And this is the example output I'm gonna parse. Um, I just kinda fill some data in here. Uh, basically this is a BOF configuration to the fullest. Um, so we'll just create a new file here and load her up. So I'll just import the class. I'll just import everything and then um, I'll set up, so the example config is here, and this is just a full text output of a show config. Um, however, inside of it, there is no show buff configuration, or show buff command, so I'll also take this path and put it here. Um, so then we'll just load it. So router, and then we'll pass in the full config file. Now, if I want to get, for example, the SDP pseudo wires from this device that are currently configured on it, I'll just say um, 
we can run that. So as you can see, this is this is super powerful, right? I mean, if you don't have NetConf enabled on your device, or it's older, or what have you, there's no, you know, there's not a REST application to it. Um, this is just, you know, maybe someone passed you down this configuration file, and you know, you've got a big project, and uh, you need it to scale. You know, you need to have structured data, and this is that's just the bottom line. So this is just amazing here. Um, this took the flat config file, parsed it into something that's very useful. So let's get another example. Um, so what about, you know, if we want to look at the interfaces. So for router interfaces, I did follow Yang models here. Um, I believe I followed 20.10 from the Nokia 7x50. Uh, GitHub account. Um, yeah, I mean, this is great, right? I mean, this is right to the point. You get all the interfaces, get everything that matters. Um, so one thing to note here, um, this is just router-based interfaces. This is not like uh, IES services or, yeah, I mean, IES services are the other things that come up on their show router interfaces under the, bo uh, under the base. So, what about the boff? So the boff is actually a command that was not given to me as an example under the config file. Uh, this is just the admin display config of a device. So I wanna, went back into the device and then just did a show boff and capture that output. So we could just pass it into this method here. So we'll just say, router get show bop. However, we'll pass in the example bop um, and it'll override this file and we'll just get some output here. So here is that text file completely parsed. Um, so this is super powerful, super helpful, especially um, my main motivator is actually um, kind of thinking about migrating quite a few devices from one platform to the other, all within the SROS ecosystem. And I, I really started thinking about what's the best way to do that. Um, you know, I, speaking with people, I recommended using NetConf. It just it wasn't an option due to device age and uh, uh, software release. So. This is just kind of kicking off for me. It really gave me an idea. And uh, over the long week here of holiday, I've been getting to work on this and it's just kind of uh, been really fun for me. So it's just kind of going in the right direction. However, let's see. Uh, this is one thing I want to point out for me is, you know, this is just a string, right? So if you want to really work with it, um, can do, let's get this data. So we'll just import JSON and pretty print. And then we'll just say, um, import pretty print, load JSON string and let's check it out so now we've got some actual json here um so yeah this is very powerful um if thinking about doing the same thing you know a million times on the same type of boxes i mean the, how, how could you not want to use something like this right <laughs> so yeah hopefully somebody can find some use from this obviously this is like really early on but um there's not much out there for Nokia devices, SRS in general, so I thought I would share this. Uh, maybe somebody would find this helpful, want to contribute, feel free. Thanks.